Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. It's been about a week and a half since I've recorded, since I've been sick, so my voice might be still a little bit weird, although it's mostly recovered, and I am going to be pretty rusty at this game. Although, it did do that thing again where when I loaded back up, it seemed to have loaded from my save before the latest one, so I had to replay like 10 minutes of it, which means I'm really not that rusty, because <laughs> I kind of had to get used to everything again. I also finally got a pop filter, so if you've been hearing some, some pops and some air blowing into the microphone in the episodes for Downpour, you shouldn't hear that anymore. Should be much better. Alright, so the last thing that just happened, we just escaped out of the mine, for now anyway, came up that elevator, came over here and JP was just about to jump down Devil's Pit. We tried to dock him down, but they jumped anyway. So, let's continue. Can't believe he jumped. It's a downed power line, but weirdly enough, it doesn't seem to have affected the lights around here. Hmm. Crowbar? Nah, I'll take the axe pick thing. No, not, <laughs> not another crowbar. How many crowbars can I take? Can I take another one? Ah, oh, I don't know. It's probably some sort of a limit. Oh, it's so freaking dark. I think I have the, the brightness cranked all the way up in this game, by the way. In the settings, it didn't seem to really do much. Oh, somehow it got turned back down a little bit, but still. Doesn't do much. I don't know if the game is just really, really dark, or if it's maybe a sort of emulator issue. Maybe it's darker than it's supposed to be. And I don't have my flashlight anymore. I've only got the lighter. Entry to Cave of Tears. The dark cavern before you was originally called Dius Tusk Cavern. The cave contains the largest stalagmite in all of northeastern America, and was first discovered by Chinese immigrant miners in 1863. The Chinese miners believed the giant stalagmite to be a large tusk protruding from Dayu, which literally translates to Earth Prison in English, and is considered the realm of the dead in Chinese mythology, hence the name Dayu's Tusk. The cave is also the lifelong home to the weeping bat, a rare species of bat indigenous to the area. As a result, the cavern is also often referred to by locals as the Cave of Tears. Oh, I... yay! Let's go! Well, we're gonna be in here for a long time. I think we started down here at that red dot just above the lighter flame. And now we're there. Yeah, we got a lot more to go. Cave of Tears just up ahead, and then I guess after that we hit a train station? It looks like the train station goes to a diner and then down to a supply cave? Is this train station underground? Like, it obviously starts underground. Does it continue underground? If so, that means there's an underground diner, which is pretty freaking cool. Underground track. Yeah, it specifically on the legend has those tracks as marked as underground track, so they're all underground. Huh. Why do I keep turning that off? Let's leave that on. Ooh, that sounded like another one of those big creatures. It's, yep, here we go. Okay. Um, should I fight this one too? I guess I should. Probably. Okay, how did I fight it before? I ran around, waited for it to jump down, did a strong attack as it got near me. Yes. 
Make sure it doesn't jump on my face if I can help it, because then it hurts. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wow, that did so much damage. pretty well. It looks close to death. It's got a lot of blood on it. No! Shit. Oh, thank god it went back up. Too early. Yes! Things really are terrifying looking. Could they be related to the blind bats at all? Probably not. Those are only in the cave of deers up ahead. Um, I kind of want to heal, but I have three first aid kits. Let's heal. They didn't like that. I wondered if I could break the glass. Can I pick this up? No, but maybe there's something in the other ones I can pick up. Oh, oh wait, this one... Ooh, right, there's no ceiling for this one to go onto. Wait, no, there is. There is? This one... That one looks different, doesn't it? It's got, like, spidery veins. Is there a hole in the ceiling over there? <laughs> this is a really silly fight. <laughs> Up into your hole, and then you walk backwards after I hit you, and then you come down. I think I'm supposed to run away from these things. There's too many of them, really, to do that. <laughs> they have such open mouths, like big, big, floppy, soft looking mouths. It doesn't look like they have teeth at all. They certainly have claws, but. Strange creatures. Okay, what is that? Is that a... That's a jackhammer. It's too bad I can't use it. Oh, is that a recreation? Of, like, something? Yeah, that's like a little fence, a little sign, a little door, a little track. It's cute. Sorry, I broke it. Not sorry, I broke this, though. Break display case in case of emergency? <laughs> Weird place to put that. Oh, I was hoping for, like, a super good weapon in one of these or something. Yeah, it's like a museum, I guess? Historical artifacts that were used in the mine. Old lanterns and stuff. <sighs> Gotta find a way out of here. Is, is anybody out there? Oh, 
I'm gonna keep my old weapon. I know it's more powerful, but I've used it enough that it's probably gonna break super soon and just turn into a stick. So I'd rather have the hammer. Never mind. I'd rather have this thing. <laughs> no, it turned into a stick too fast. Alright, I gotta find another heavy metal tool. Was up there behind the boarded up room. These wires. Pick up? Oh, just a stone. Actually, would a stone work for, like, breaking wood? Maybe. I'll try that in a second. Try this one. Looks sharper. Hmm. This one's even better. Ooh, real tool. Oh. Okay, we're gonna blow something up. I don't know what, but... Murphy seems to think it's a good idea, so let's do it. I'm guessing that pathway down here was blocked? Is that where the wires go? Fuck. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love that they shout out fuck, because that's about how I'm feeling too. I could try to avoid this one. Yeah, maybe I'll just avoid it. Fuck you. Can you go through there? No, we're good. That's a person. That's not a person. of Majesty by Daniel English 3A Jutting underneath cerulean sky are rocky cliffs where my heart lies. Eyes twinkling with emeralds fair, my darling left me weeping there. But her shadow can't take away these bronze cliffs at end of day. This is a hint that I need to find something. 
rocky cliffs where my heart lies. They had their heart torn out of them? Doesn't look like it. it just looks like they've been seriously fried. It's a shitty way to go. This must be the train Sayer told me about. Oh shit, we're already through the Cave of Tears? We're already at the train station? Whoa, that was way faster than I thought. Huh. It's a whole thing to get the train going. Okay. Uh, hold on. There are, like, instructions up there. Daily checklist? Can't read it. Uh, let's just go for it. I mean, it is A, B, C, D, E. Do I just do them in order? Turns the light on or off. That worked? I was just messing around for a second. I, I didn't do anything. Oh, hey. Maybe this tells you something. Jokingly called the Devil's Train by the miners that once worked in Devil's Pit, this mine train has since been converted into a ride for visitors. Equipped with a fascinating audio commentary, the Devil's Train provides the passengers with an in-depth educational tour of Devil's Pit, including an interactive reenactment of much of the pit's rich history. Please be advised the tour includes the use of strobe lighting so passengers sensitive to such effects should take extra care. Also, please keep your hands inside the cart at all times as the Devil's Train passes through areas of the pit with very low ceilings and narrow passageways. Please refrain from using any flash photography that might disturb the native fauna. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your ride on the Devil's Train. Said something about strobe lights. So yeah, if you are susceptible to uh, epilepsy, then watch out. I think I failed that. <laughs> Murphy seems surprisingly uh, unfazed by everything happening around them. They didn't exclaim anything about everything that happened before that enemy took me off the train. Or even like look around in amazement or anything. How oh, my save was from like right there. Please don't make me do the whole train ride again. Oh. Okay. Don't 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. So you didn't die. I tried to save you. I saw you. Hands against the wall. I said, up against the wall. You don't have to do this. We should help each other. This place, I... I don't know what it is or how we got here. You know, one thing I... Just shut up. in these clothes. I didn't... Is this some kind of sick joke to you? No, I, I swear. I don't know what's going on any more than you do. On your knees. What? On your fucking knees. You heartless bastard. You don't deserve to live. You're not fit to walk this earth while good... Decent men. I don't know who you think I am or what you think I've done. Shut the hell up! You think this is funny, don't you? Well, let's see how funny it is with a fucking bullet in your head. What are you waiting for? Leave me alone, God damn it! second thought, I probably shouldn't have tried to save a cop. coming out of the ground, but it's tripping onto it. Oh, uh, yeah, let's avoid that.
Albert. 256,000 meters? Year 1830? What's the significance of the name, Albert? Is that like the person who found it or something? It's named after them? Hmm? Okay, it's on the roof. I think we're out of the mines, though. Looks like we're outside. Whoa, what the hell is this? Piece of sharpened rebar or something? Is that a wooden stake? That could be really good, but I think I'd still prefer my other weapon. I want one of these jackhammers. Oh, it's coming down through the light. Okay. Oh, thanks. Keep on keeping on, bro, and your pal DJ Rix will do the same. Playing the music y'all want to hear. <laughs> Nothing on that shelf but a pack of cigarettes. I really feel like they're teasing me with these jackhammers. <gasps> Flashlight! Hell yeah! Now I just gotta remember how to turn it on. There we go. Sweet! In Silent Hill yet, are we? Wright Street, Saul Street, Laymond Avenue, Radcliffe Street. These don't seem familiar. Monkey Rock. I don't think that's Silent Hill, but it could just be a part of it that I'm not familiar with. Escape from Silent Hill. Oh, well, I guess this is Silent Hill then. What's that? That's always a piece of wood. This one's got nails in it, but still. 99% of the weapons you find around are just way worse than something like this. This atmosphere is so cool looking. Bronze trophy going off the rails. I'm proud of that one. That trophy for continuing in the game. 